Hey guys, so I already um, did eyeshadow and foundation. Um, this video is for Day Day. This is for Deja, my home girl. Um, this video was requested by my friend Deja, and she wants to know how I contour. So that's why I already did eyeshadow and foundation, and now I'm going to show her how to highlight and contour. How I do it, everybody does it differently, so it's really personal preference. Or, um, obviously, Deja, you got different skin type than me, but I'm going to try to show you the best of my abilities and maybe um, give you tips on what you should do uh, for your face when you do it. So I'm going to zoom you in. Okay, um, back to what I was doing. I'm going to highlight underneath my eyes. And conceal with this concealer. It's Rimmel London Match Perfection in 125 Fair. It's like, it's kind of like, um, uh, LA Girls Pro Concealer. But it's like, I think it's like a dollar cheaper. So I'm just gonna go underneath my eyes in a triangular shape. I love this concealer, and I've seriously, I've already. I think I have like, I bought in four already and I have two backups right now. So I'm just going to highlight like that and do it to the other eye. And then my nose, because that's the center of my face, Cupid's bow, my chin. And I'm cleaning up my eyeshadow, cutting it. Okay, and then the center of my um, forehead. And then I'm going to take, so that's how I highlight the center of my face. And I'm going to take a Real Technique Sculpting Brush, which looks like this. And I'm going to pack that concealer and blend it out. So the blending that out. And I have foundation on, so I'm going to set all of my face with powder and I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Pressed Powder in 120 which looks like this and I'm avoiding the under eye area because I'm gonna put um, a lighter shade there but I'm just setting all of my foundation down and then, okay, so with highlighting and contouring, there's so many palettes out there now that make it, like, super simple to do it. Like, I have three right here. I'll show you. I have the NYX one. The NYX one is by far my favorite so far, which looks like this, and it comes with eight colors, and they vary for different skin tones. So, Deja, I recommend getting this one if you're going to do it because it has a darker contour shade for your skin color and the yellow which I actually use the yellow but it's better for um, darker skin tones and then there's the contour and blush palette by BH Cosmetics which looks like this and it's six and this would be a good one for you as well because this and this are good shades that I usually have been using so I'm trying to save my next one but the one that I just got that I'm going to try out today so it's going to be like a first impressions and if I don't like it I'm going to go back to my NYX um, this is Rue Butte Contour Kit. So this is from Rue 21. It was $8 and I just wanted to try it. It looked interesting. Pretty nice. The pants come out and everything. So I'm going to take the yellow shade, which I recommend for you, Deja. I'm going to take this yellow shade and see if it works. And I'm just going to pack that underneath my eyes. And the brush I'm using is e.l.f. Small Tapered Brush. Ooh. And 
And this seems to be working really nicely. Now I'll see throughout the whole day, but so far it's really brightening under my eyes. I don't like the smell of it. it smells processed. Can makeup be processed? So I'm just highlighting in the center of my face, like the center of my face, everything needs to be highlighted. So that's what that looks like. My under eye circles are popping through. But that's okay. So, so far so good. It's a little bit chalky, but it's $8 if you have a Rue 21, $8. I'm going to use the contour shade. And I'm really, for like light skin, this is perfect. But I think I'm going to do this one. And I'm going to use my contour brush by Real Techniques. And I'm going to pick this one up. Ooh, it's actually really pigmented. Tap that off. And then you want to you wanna contour the hollows of your cheeks, temples, underneath if you want some jawline like I do, and my nose usually. So... Ooh, this is like a perfect gray tone, the one I'm using, it's this one, so, so you want to hollow out your cheeks, I'm really digging this palette. For $8, like it's really not that bad. I think it's a little bit hard to blend out, but I'm going to bronze. And that's going to help blend it out. Okay. Now that our cheekbones are contoured, I'm going to do my temples. And into my hairline. I'm going, there's going to be more, but I recommend this for beginners for $8 if you don't know what you're doing and you don't want to spend the money. Like, here are the points of the face that even shows you that you want to highlight. Center is where I have all the white. Whoop, all the white. And then the outside for contouring. So, and it even gives you steps, which is really cool. Now I'm going to bronze my face, and for that I'm going to be, this whole video is purpose for my um, friend or anyone else that wants to learn how to contour. So, I recommend, if you haven't, if you don't bronze, this is the best bronzer to start out with. This is Hula by Benefit, and this is for like every skin type. Like, um, it's just very cool toned and neutral for any skin type. Especially people with lighter skin, but even darker skin. So. I'm going to take this brush, I dipped it in, tapped off the excess, and I'm going to bronze my cheeks. And then I'm just going to take whatever's left and do my temples again. And down here. If your contour you feel like it's a little bit fading, you can even go back in and add just a little bit more and I'm going to do that. Because I want cut cheekbones. Okay, and then say that like this dragged down. A way to clean that up is to take your highlight and contour palette. I'm actually going to take this shade because I'm going to save that yellow shade because I love it. I'm going to take this lighter shade. And you just drag it. Okay, so when you start your contour, I forget, it's for... Beginners too, um, you're going to start from like the top of your ear down and you don't want to drag it all the way in. I kind of do that because it's kind of draggy, but I really, it's just personal preference on what you want to do, what you like and don't like practicing on yourself. And that's what I like. So I'm just cleaning that up, you see, where it's like cut. Cut. Okay, so I do recommend this for beginners if you don't want to spend. This one is $26 and this one's like... 
12 or something, but this is kind of cakey, so this one isn't right now. And I've never had really bright under eyes because, of, well, besides the next one with the yellow, but you can see that I'm hitting pan and trying to conserve it. But I really recommend this for people that are just starting out. I'm going to add Pin Up by Hard Candy, which is a baked blush, which is kind of going to highlight too, but I'm going to add highlight as well. And so you want to do the apples of your cheeks and blend it back. You can see the highlight. Now, for highlighter, I'm going to use this NYX. I think there's a highlight, like a sparkly highlight in this one. Yeah. So, actually, I'll use this highlight. This is a highlight shade as well. And I'm going to take a fan brush, and I'm going to just dip that in there. Okay, and then you want to highlight the tops of your cheekbone. You see where that bright is? Brightness? Top of your cheekbone. And I usually go right here above my brow. So that is like a higher pinpoint. Subtle, nice, natural highlight. So I recommend that for people who are just starting out and aren't so sure. But I'm gonna go in ham with this NYX highlighter. This is NYX Illuminator. And this is in 1BB04, Ritualistic. And I'm going to take some of that, a lot of that, and highlight more. Ooh, girl. You want that highlight. So that's it for contouring and highlighting. Like, it's super simple. Um, you can even use creams, like buy darker and do creams and powders or just powders or just creams. Um, creams are more natural to me. Um, when you blend them out, they look a lot more natural than powders, but that's it. I'm just gonna go finish my eyes and do my lips and yeah, I'm just gonna send this to Deja because she wanted to see it. So I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna post this Deja, but that is how you highlight and contour. And I seriously, I know you like those bargains, girls, so get this palette for $8 because Goddamn. My face is bright right here. See ya. Bye, guys.